Now it's uh, more than a year since India's Chandrayaan-3 made a historic lunar soft landing. Gradually, the initial findings from the mission are being revealed. Most interestingly among them is the question of moon quakes or tremors on the moon. Now India's Chandrayaan-3 uh, mission is the first craft to soft land near the lunar south pole. As it landed near the unexplored South Polar region, the craft began its core task, that of performing science experiments and observations. From August 23rd until September 4th last year, the mission collected science data and operated its instruments on the moon. All this data was transmitted back to ISRO. As part of their research efforts, ISRO's teams have been sieving through the data generated from the Chandrayaan 3's experiments and instruments. Now, as per a research paper by ISRO's team, ILSA uh, observed 250 distinct signals or signs of physical movement or vibrations. Of the 250, 200 are identified to be due to the movement of the 25 kilogram heavy Pragyan rover and the operation of the scientific experiments. However, there is a lot of curiosity over whether the remaining 250 observations could be moon quakes or signs of tremors at the lunar south pole. For the very latest on this, uh, my colleague Siddharth MP has more. Over the next 5 to 10 years, the US and China are looking to build permanent lunar bases. These are bases that astronauts will build on the moon's surface and they'll also stay and work over there in the long term. What we must remember is that before establishing such bases, it's important to actually ascertain whether there are phenomena known as moon quakes that can threaten the astronauts and also the facilities that they stay in, which is why there's a lot of interest in studying moon quakes. Chandrayaan-3 has observed 50 moon quakes for which there are no known and established causes. So this is actually a very interesting phenomena and ISRO based on initial analysis says that these moon quakes could be caused a by micro meteoroidal impacts which means the lunar rocks and debris the small ones when they come and hit the moon surface they could cause vibrations and uh, small tremors that could be one possible cause the other possible cause is of course the extreme temperature variations on the moon chandrayaan experience from minus 20 degrees celsius to uh, you know plus 60 degrees celsius so due to temperature uh, extreme temperature what can happen is the lander's parts the vikram lander's metal parts can expand or contract and also there's a possibility that even the lunar soil can behave strangely uh, during extreme temperatures so even those could have caused the lunar quakes that uh, chandrayaan 3 observed but of course these are preliminary findings we'll have to wait uh, perhaps for years to actually get a clear idea on what caused these strange and unique lunar quakes from chennai siddharth mp we on world is one for all the latest news download the Vion app and subscribe to our youtube channel